What's up fam and welcome back to my Chris Smooth character gameplay. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately I will not be doing commentary, so enjoy the game. For you, thanks for joining us. Here with me tonight, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. Taking a look at New York, challenging part of the schedule, and this is where they need to buckle down and take care of business. When I look at New York, they've not achieved any of even the most modest goals they've set for themselves so far. Well, it's been a tough, tough year, Clark, no question. There was a, a lot of talk for them before the season about, you know, proving the doubters wrong. Uh, but at this point, <laughs> the doubters look right. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Aldridge and Lopez are down low. Damian Lillard out there with Green, and it's Batum in at the threesome. Lillard up top. He's covered by Smooth, and Lopez gets it to go. Good way to start the game there. I mean, that's a nice inside bucket. No question, Clark. I think they'd like to establish a presence down low early in the game to get their offense going. Here's Smooth. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Detroit. And, Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. So he was very aggressive with his game, attacking the D and capitalizing on those free throws. Here's Lillard. After the main shot from Smooth. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And Lillard kicks to Aldridge. Down to five on the shot clock. Tries it from the top of the key. That one wide left. That's his comfort zone, so defensively, really nice job challenging the shot. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And I love how he goes with that one-hand tomahawk slam. Beautiful. Green dishes to Aldridge. That's good. You know, that's one way he can finish. But not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Picked by Barnett. Here's Smooth. And there's another one for the Knicks. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. So for the Trailblazers, their last game, a win against the Celtics in Boston. And they did just what you have to do as a road team. Guys, they never allowed any momentum to build up against them. Seemed like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, Steve. Reverse spurtability, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses, they immediately made up for it with some instant offense. You see the pass to Smooth. Kicks it to Bargnani, and he converts the lane. Good possession there, resulting in the easy one down low. Portland trailing here. Lillard outside. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, he got whacked. There shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. That one is no good. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. I'll bet he didn't either. As good a foul shooter as he is. Sinks it. And the shot from early. He always knows where his teammates contested first half so far. No slowing him down. Just some incredible numbers for Smooth. He has 12 points, and he's made some good decisions with the basketball, too. Well, being smart is, is what it's all about for him, Clark. I mean, he's a decision maker. He's a playmaker. He has to make good decisions. That's what he's doing here so far. Smooth in at point guard. Bargnani is out there with Quincy Ace. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's early in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Four on the shot clock. There's Green with the three. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his third assist on the night. There's the pick. Smooth passes to Ace. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the one. It could be a three-point play. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many. Three. And in a two-game season series, you love taking charge of game one. That's obvious and exactly what they're doing here tonight against the Trailblazers. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Smooth. He was doing everything right, and the points seemed to come in bunches. He definitely had the hot hand. 
Clark, if they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Hey, Amen. I think that's the best option. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Over to the left wing. Easy the pass to smooth. It's three pointers off the mark. Green dishes to Batum. Lillard with no one around. A three pointer is right on target. Here's Smooth. From deep. Can't connect. So no problem for New York as they get the win. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Andrea, congratulations on the win. What was the biggest difference maker for the team? I think we got a lot of enthusiasm from uh, from the defensive part of the game because we're playing good defense. Everybody get excited when we get a stop. So that excitement, so we bring that excitement on the offensive end. Congratulations, Andrea. Kevin, over to you. Thanks, Doris. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game. Now the pass to Smooth. Six on the shot clock for three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. We've got 155 left to play in the third. Hey, great shooting out there tonight. You've really been on the tear lately. Yeah, my stroke is on right now. It's like I can't miss. Well, believe me, with the hot streak you've got going, we're going to use it as much as we can. Oh, that's music to my ears, coach. You keep calling my number, I'm going to keep knocking them down. <laughs> 